Switch to Krom. A lot of them moved yeah. on to him. I think Krom, I think Cloud is kind of underrated, but that might not be what we're seeing right now. I don't know if he does play Krom. Yeah, he has the T-shirt, so we'll see. We'll see that coming out. Uh, wolf. It looks like neither. You're see the wolf. Close enough. That they, that kind of looks like Krom or Cloud, right? It's close enough, right? Krom, Krom, Wolf, Wolf, Wolf. Close enough. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Um, but yeah, getting and back Jen. to getting back to what we were uh, what we're doing here. Dark Blue is gonna do his best, obviously. Um, uh, again. Depends on how he decides to play this Palatini here. I feel like he's going to try to fight fire with fire in terms of aggression. Um, but then again, New York does play slightly different than uh, New Jersey Palatinas do. They like to mix up their aerials a lot more than Palatina, uh, Palatinas in New Jersey do. But Wolf, you know, he's while he does uh, allow room for variation, exactly what you're seeing right now is basically, basically the Wolf matchup. It's Approaching with aerials, spacing them correctly, and then following up on those aerials with forward airs, up airs, and then down smash at the ledge. Which is what we're going to continue to see from Dark Blues. It's all about... Oh, Hallelujah! Gen... Yo, he prayed to the goddess for that tank. Yeah, that's what Gen needs to be careful about, especially off stage, because that's the place where Wolf does have a slight disadvantage, but, you know, you could just as easily, you know, get burned on your investment there if you decide to go off stage, get a little too greedy, and what you just saw might be able to... Uh, might be able to not work in your favor. It went, uh, worked out okay for Gen there, but he definitely needs to be careful. And I think he knows what he's doing here. That's why he's backed off a little bit. I think so as well. You know, right now we got a grab from Wolf. Back though should definitely not do it, but getting a little bit close, causing the radar to appear. And I love that option from Palutena's when they do the aggressive explosive flame because her recovery is just good enough to be able to make it back even when she does that. I love when Palutena's do that to just try and like uh, secure their way to the ledge or like uh, sneak in a uh, cheesy kill a little bit earlier. But right now, back though from I Either of these guys might do it, not from center stage though, of course, and an explosive flame, forcing uh, Dark Blues to go a little bit low, but the rising forwarder, still not gonna be able to do it right there, just kissing the blast zone real quick. Ooh. The down smash, and that was a forward tilt, actually. That was a forward tilt, yeah, that was a mistake. two frame forward tilt. We've seen a lot of Wolf players attempt and fail to get that. Back throw here is going to kill, but, um, you know, Wolf looking like Wolf, again, you know, Palatina looking like Palatina. It's a basically a coin flip at this point, honestly. Yeah, essentially. I mean, Palutena, I feel like... I feel like Palutena, once she's in, like, her punish game is a little more solid than Wolf's. I mean, I feel like Wolf has to rely on a couple more reads, depending on, like, how the DI is. Like, and not, depending on how your DI is, and depending on percent as well. Whereas Palutena, she lands a neutral air at this percent that Dark Blue is at right now. It's gonna be another nair, to another up air, to another up air after that. And then he's gonna just try and keep on juggling him with up air, let him land, and potentially get some other mix-ups in there. Ooh, yeah. like right there, like trying to catch an air dodge actually with that up tilt right there. No dice. Uh, uh, Jen just going for it all with that read right there. Dark Blue still pretty solidly in the lead. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Dark Blue is, of course, still forcing his advantage about a 50. Oh, just tagging it on a little more. Only about a 20% differential between these players right now. Oh, and I like the attempted call out on the drop shield right there. But on, uh, unfortunately for him, unfortunately for Dark Blue's Jen is just a little too smart for that at this stage in the game. And these guys are. These guys are really boxing. So far, this is a really even game. I really can't say, like, either of these guys are thoroughly outplaying the other right now. I really, I can't say too much about, like, which one of these guys is going to be. Like, look, it's literally tit for tat. You, you see him hit that neutral air. Then immediately after that, hard uh, SDIing and DIing left to get away from it. So much to the point where he can catch his aggression with a back air of his own. Launching him back to, to the other side of the stage. Exactly. I don't know exactly. what else to say. And I think right there, here we go, catching him with a forward tilt. Like you mentioned before, tit for tat, at least in center stage. Neutral, early percentage. It's been sort of back and forth. No character has had a real advantage here. It's been about Ooh. how players adapt on the ledge. And so far, if this stock is any indication, this is about even two. That is Gen going to be able to get this kill? No, no. That down smash setup was gorgeous. I can't possibly think of any more like practical uses for like Palutena's down smash, which I believe is something around frame 50 as the back air is going to be able to do it right there against Dark Blues, evening out the first game against him, ladies and gentlemen. It is absolutely anybody's game right now. In winner's quarters, this is still best of three territory, I believe. It is. It is very much so. And here we go. Another early percentage situation. This is where Palutena really shines. Neutral air into neutral air, racking up 34%, and Gen could even get away with throwing out a couple more neutral airs. You know, we've seen we've seen Palutinas get up to 60-70% if they rack up the correct aerial movements. Absolutely, I mean this character's 
Valtan is an amazing character in pretty much almost every regard, but one thing that's amazing about her is that her comeback factor is clutch. This character can just start like one little string on you, and all of a sudden you take 50 damage. All of a sudden, game's relatively even again, and she can kill you with a back throw, up smash, whatever it is, you know, but definitely not one of her frame 50 uh, forward smashes or uh, down smashes. You know how that be. But, yeah, yeah and there's a, a neutral air right there. Not overextending, going past in an attempt to cross up, just hanging back, knowing that Dark Blues was actually going to be the one to approach him in that situation right there to try and mix him up. And the back air launching Jen immediately off stage to teleport recovery right down to the ledge, unable to two frame actually, because I believe he went from above it. Oh, and this is just tit for tat, and the down smash gonna do it, taking game one over Jen right there. The clutch down smash, that move. Quite safe, dude. Yeah, quite yeah. safe, my friend. I mean, the, the level of lag that move has is pretty much in non-existent. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, pretty much like second to none for the most part, and the range it has, the strength it has, which is my wolf. What what big claws you have? Yeah, I yeah. don't know what else oh to my. say. And, oh Patton, my. and Jen is definitely like grandma right now, or Red oh Riding Hood. Hey, do whatever he needs he to just do. Got He's eight. up one zero against Gen in the. Uh, I believe we're still in winner side of uh, pools here. Yeah, and Jen. Jen's got to reach in. He does. He does. I mean, it. Like we said, it wasn't even like it was that. It was that far of you know of a stretch to say that that was an even game. You know, it, it, it really was. was. Yeah, it really was. There was really, like, no point in that match at all where one of them was, like, thoroughly on top of the other. They really took turns, like, you know, like, outplaying each other, quote-unquote. It wasn't like one person was in the advantage the whole time. It's just Dark Blues found himself in the advantage when he needed to be the most. And exactly. that is why he was the one who wound up winning that match. Exactly. And, you know, despite everything we're saying, this is where the mental games really starts to get in, especially at least this deep in pools. You're down, if you're getting, you're down 1-0. You need to dig deep. You need to... You know, remember what this character is good at, not get too anxious. And we see Gen here starting to bring it back a little bit, pretty much even percent. Uh, only a 20% advantage, which is pretty much nothing against Palazina. Okay. Yeah, Dark Blues, has been, Dark Blues has been doing a really good job. Um, he's been doing a really good job making sure he never gets, like, Palu Vortex. Because, like, a lot of these Nair Strings, we're not even really seeing them come out too much uh, from Gen. And it's not because, like, he doesn't want to. It's because Dark Blues is playing in such a way where, like, he's playing where Nair is unsafe. You know? Yeah. And because, like, even F-Tilt out of shield, if you try and, like, cross up Wolf with it, it's a pretty fast option, you know, as that, that F-Tilt right there, speak of the devil, so is going to be able to take out Jen's first Whoosh. stock right there. And even if, like, he crosses up, uh, even if Jen crosses up, like, an air on shield, F-Tilt is just such a fast option, you know, for that Wolf has, you know, it's going to be so easy for him to be able to punish that. And, you know, you're not really seeing Jen, like, you know, like, keep, uh, keeping Dark Blues at disadvantage, you know, he's doing... Jen is just doing, not Jen, uh, Dark Blues is just doing such a good job at making sure he's never in that position. And right now, see, he's backing up when he has to right there, air dodging back, even though Wolf has a terrible recovery, because he knows that uh, Jen is just waiting on stage to react to any of his options right there, to be able to kill with any of Palu's aerials, because yeah. neutral air not only combos, but also kills, especially a Wolf at 170%. But my man Dark Blues just hanging back on the ledge right there, air dodging back to it, you know, resetting the situation and keeping his cool. Limiting disadvantages. Thing. Like you said, keeping his cool, not getting too anxious at 170 it is going to take the stock there, but I feel like Gen is working a lot harder for these kills than Dark Blue is, and that's sort of, you know, depending on what's going on, the nature of Wolf, he's able to kill so much earlier. While Palutena has maybe some more combo-centric options, Wolf can just, you know, as we've seen before, can just kill you at 70 with a down smash. So it's a lot, a lot more stress on Gen's side than it is on Dark Blue's side. That being said, Dark Blue can't, you know, he can't get too impatient here. He can't get too comfortable. Gen is Gen for a reason. So we're going to see how this continues. And we already see Gen starting to bring it back a little bit. Already at 105. Is he going to go off stage here? No, he's not. Yeah, it's a frame 50 F smash going to do it right there. He didn't want to go off stage and potentially mistime his, uh, uh, potentially mistime his, uh, what do you call it right there, his uh, neutral air, because if uh, he doesn't do the neutral air early enough, I'm not sure if the Nair would actually catch Wolf's uh, uppy right there. It's one of those uppies you really don't want to mess around with, because Whoa. the down air to the up smash, not going to do it right there, because you can take advantage of... Uh, Wolf's up B sends you at pretty janky angles, regardless of your percent. It has, like, a weird set knockback thing where at the end of it will launch you in just, like, whatever direction Wolf is fate. Like uh, that? Yeah, like that. <laughs> like that, pretty much. And he didn't want to risk uh, dying off stage right there, so he just wanted to hang back, uh, do a down tilt by the ledge right there, which easily two frames, which would have comboed into an up air or a forward air of his choosing. Uh, but either way, that situation is passed. It looks like it didn't work out too much for him. The up smash gonna actually do it all of a sudden. And Dark Blues looking poised to potentially take out Jen. Yes, yeah, absolutely. And like we said, Dark
Dark Blue has just been doing a very, very good job of what you were saying before, keeping his cool, limiting his disadvantage. He is not, Gen has not been able to take advantage of the mistakes that Dark Blue has been making. And that's gonna really be the turnaround here. If Gen wants to bring this back, he's going to have to get punished on stuff like that. He's gonna get the turnaround back here. No, he's gonna go for it again. There you and go. he gets it that time. Palutena's standing grab range, my <laughs> friend. It's, it's huge. It's nice. It's big. It's giant. Yep. It's thick. With two C's. It's better than her dash one, for sure. It um, definitely extends way further than it appears. And uh, Jin, knowing that, of course, taking advantage of that, forcing Wolf to air dodge back on stage right there, exactly where he wanted him to be. And if you don't succeed at first, Newt, try, try again try, with try another again. down throw to a backer able to do it. And we are running the final game off to Battlefield. A questionable pick from Dark Blues, in my opinion, because a lot of players think that, like, you know, oh, like, it'll be easier for me to land because I have the platforms to be able to go to now. Not so. If anything, it makes your landings a little more easier to react to, a little more linear, easier you know, because now you can see where they're going to be able to go. And not to reference the last set again with uh, Dark Wizzy with his Mario, but you want to know another character that's really good at juggling? <laughs> Palutena, Palutena you don't right say. before your very eyes. And Wolf yeah. is also a fast baller as well, so, you know, it's going to be even easier for him to be able to get those combos in. You know, everything everything you're saying, it makes sense, but maybe it's just sort of a mental thing. Maybe... Yeah, he might just like Battlefield. Yeah, I mean, I, I, mean, I do. I, but, I mean, that's, you know, yeah. I, went, I went 0-2 today, so clearly yeah. that's not been working out for me, but we see Dark Blue. Hey, you know, I'm a Mario player, and, you know, I actually don't like Battlefield that much myself. I'm more of an FD man, and people be like, oh, why don't you go to Battlefield, you know? It's because <laughs> I like this stage better, and that very well might be the case for Dark Blues as well, but Battlefield might just be a comfort pick for him. But we'll see how he's going to be able to take advantage of this new platform layout, these new uh, Blast Zone differentials right here. Battlefield, I believe, the second biggest of the legal stages right behind, behind, behind town. town and city. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see how he's going to be able to take advantage of that. So far, uh, just like I predicted, it is working out a little bit more for uh, for Jen right now, as he's already cute. Yeah, see? That's yeah, you don't want to be pressing buttons against about. that, man. It's so stupid. I hate Wolf's upbeat. Yeah, that's Dumb. really dangerous. That's, that's really incredibly ban. inopportune if you get hit by that. I'm calling for a Wolf ban right now, live on stream while I'm commentating. Anyway. Nah, nah, we got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, yeah, um... Yeah, yeah. You know, with characters, wow, neutral air, killing him off the side. That, yeah, was, that was actually some pretty sus DI. I was about to say, uh, he definitely could have lived that if he uh, DI'd a little bit better. But here we go, 89%. You know, obviously, everything's kill percent for Wolf, but, yeah. you know, not a crazy hard disadvantage on this first stock. For again, he can work with this a little bit. Yeah, I'm really surprised that that killed, actually. Down air? I believe Ooh. Battlefield. It's not the biggest in terms of blast zones. I mean, Town City is bigger in vertical blast zones, but I believe Town's horizontal blast zones are actually smaller than this stage. I could be wrong about that. Uh, don't cite me completely, but I believe they are. And if that is the case, then that had to have been bad DI because the neutral air from there and only 89% rage on this man absolutely should not have killed. But anyway, that is the past. Uh, Jen right now, just doing, trying to do a good job at forcing his advantage right here. He is off stage oh. and an unfortunate S. D from my man evening the game out right here. That is not what he wants to see as well as you guys. No, it's unfortunate, but he has afforded himself about 77% of extra credit here. Can't let Dark Blue get in too hard. He's going to work with as much as he can. Try to get another string of these neutral layers going. Try to juggle him up a little bit. You know, you were mentioning these battlefield platforms. Let's see how he can use them to his advantage. Dark Blue right. able to make it back to center stage again, and we see... You know, despite the pick to battlefield, but he hasn't really been playing with them. You know, he's able to juggle with up airs a little bit more, but nothing you wouldn't be able to do on Pokemon Stadium. So, you know, interesting pick. That's what yeah. I mentioned before. I mean, Pokemon Stadium, I think, is one of Palutena's best stages, personally. Her nair strings on that stage are just... They're just incredible because even if you like retreat to the platforms and try and land on them, the pressure with them is just immaculate as well. And it's just the same on like Battlefield as well, you know. Like if you land on the Battlefield platforms, like Palutena can just so easily press you, uh, pressure you just by pressing the A button right there. So we'll see how Jen is going to be able to like uh, potentially win this game right here. The down air not going to be able to do it like bouncing off of the stage right here. You can no longer tech grounded spikes, of course, but I'm sure you all knew that. Forward throw. <laughs> no, he's going to back throw him actually to the, the other side. side. Interesting. I don't know why you wouldn't do that, try to stale it. Maybe he doesn't like the angle that Palutena's forward throw sends you at. It feels like he could just jump right back above and land back on the stage. But if anything, I feel like he could have just read or reacted to that with an up air or something. But Jen, of course, knowing something that I don't, probably, and electing not to go for the forward throw instead. Or maybe it was just a misinput. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not this guy right now. Back air, going to be able to do it. Jen, up a whole stock against Dark Blues. Looking pretty poised to advance to winner semis of his pool. Yeah, yeah, he's looking, he's looking nice right now. So he remains patient. Oh, good boy. catch there by Dark Blues, and we are at... 
Last stock, last game here. Woo. We got another early percent combo. You wouldn't want it to go down any other way, dude. No, of course not. This is what I live for. <laughs> no, I don't. This is what no, I live I for. Don't. This is what I enjoy this game. And no, it's just the way you said it. It wasn't the thing that you said. I don't know. It just sounded funny. Oh, oh God! Wow! That covered so much. He stood in a position where, like... A JV2. Yeah, yeah. Able to not even taking a single spot, a percentage on that last second. He, and he positioned himself. I, he was going he was going down smash all the way there. No matter what happened, he positioned himself for a point where, like, neutral getup wouldn't have warranted. He might have been able to get a grab there, but the spot where he was at covered neutral getup, and it also covered roll. So that was that was down smash all the way. Uh, Dark Blue... Un, uh, unfortunately able to uh, discern it too late again. And you know? uh, Jen was just so aware of his situation as well. He knew he was sitting at a very pretty 0%. Yeah. He's like, what is he going to do to me if I whiff this down smash? I mean, is, I'm going to eat a punish for sure. You know, like, I mean, because, you know, Palutena's uh, down smash is one of the laggiest smash attacks for sure. <laughs> uh, strong. It's incredibly strong, but obviously if you whiff it, it's pretty easy to punish. But he said, I'm at 0% unless I get, like, super cheese somehow and he, like, gimps me or something off of this, which would, you know, maybe be my own fault. I don't think this down smash is really that high risk, high reward. A little bit of a lower risk, maybe a medium, a medium risk, high reward, to say the least. Jen, of course, recognizing that situation and advancing further into the winner's side of his pool because of it. 